I'm Tony Harris and I'm an associate professor in uh, the Department of Cell and Systems Biology and also recently the associate chair for undergraduate studies as well. It wasn't until uh, my undergraduate studies at Western where I really realized, okay, this is something that's done. I didn't really know about what, what research was before that, and, and I really got hooked there. So it's even in my first year hearing the, the professors up on stage in one of these huge classrooms, just realizing that you know, this is something that this person does for a living, is doing research as well as, as teaching and conveying those ideas to, to undergraduates, and that was really appealing uh, to me. The driving thing for me is to understand the, the molecular bases of these larger scale things that we see in our everyday life, right? We can see how our hand is, is developed or we can appreciate, you know, trees and so on outside. So my lab basically is looking at how uh, molecular circuits and molecular machines, how they work together to organize cells. So that's specifically how cells are shaped, um, how cells undergo cell shape changes and in turn how those changes lead to changes in larger tissues and, and organs. So basically we're looking at how molecules organize cells, organize tissues for the development of, of an animal. First find what you're interested in, find this match with, uh, with labs that share that interest and then send an email off and make it really clear in that opening paragraph why you're interested in, in working in the lab and really make that connection to say, you know, I'm really interested in this idea, I learned about it recently, I see that you're working on this and I'd be really excited about getting involved. Outside of a general interest in research, I think two, two things I look for. One is, are the students' marks? So that's, to me, important just to show commitment to their education and, and a commitment to doing well. So that's another important thing about research is that it requires dedication. And then a, a thing outside of that as well is, um, you know, just things to show that a person is well-rounded. You know, do they, I think it's important to express on the, on the resume that if you have work experience outside of university and research, definitely show that there and, uh, because that shows that you have responsibility in those areas. And also your outside interests as well. You know, it just gives a sense of, of you as a fuller person and, and what you'd be like interacting uh, as a team in, in, in the lab. So for an interview, I think just giving some thought beforehand about why, why you're there, why this is important to you, I think is important. And then be sure to just get that across uh, in the interview. So don't, don't be shy about, about saying that something is important to you or going into some extra details. Is that really tells the person you know, what is unique about you um, and that's important to get across. My advice to undergraduates is, is basically to Think about what's really important to you, what you like, and then think about what you're good at. And then from that list of things, really work very hard to do your best at those things and make the most of that. And I think you'll be able to find the career opportunities that are, that are, that are related to that and you'll have a you know, fulfilling career down the road.